An elevator cab and its load have a combined mass of 1,600 kilograms. Find the tension in the supporting cable when the cab originally moving downward at 12 meters per second is brought to rest with constant acceleration in a distance of 42 meters. Now let us have a, an illustration for this Okay, so let's say this is the elevator cog. This is the cable holding it. So, of course, at this point, there will be the tension. Going up one, of course, the weight of the elevator pump. Initially, the velocity of the pump is 12 meters per second, according to the problem. Originally moving down at 12 meters per second. When the elevator stops, the final velocity will be equal to is zero and it traveled a distance according to the problem a distance of um, downward a downward distance of 42 meters so the distance will be let's say the distance is equal to y negative 42 meters because from its original position it is going downward at a distance of 42 meters now the mass of uh, the elevator cab is 1600 kilogram so these are the events according to the problem they are required we are required to get the tension on in the on the supporting cable. So this is the tension. So to get the tension, let us consider acceleration, uh, I mean, let us consider summation of forces at y. Summation of forces at y. All the forces going on the, lying on the y-axis. Now, the forces lying on the y-axis is just the tension and the weight according to our illustration. Tension going upward plus the weight going downward. But is it in equilibrium or not? Since it is accelerating, therefore, it is not in equilibrium. Therefore, summation of forces y will have mass times, let's say, acceleration y. Because this is not in free fall. Okay, we'll just have uh, an acceleration along the y-axis. So this is now the equation that we have to consider. Therefore, tension is just equal to W plus mass acceleration y. But our weight is mass times gravity plus mass times acceleration y. Therefore, tension is just mass times the quantity gravity plus acceleration y. So, we already have mass. Gravity is 9.81 meters per second speed. But how about acceleration y? 
so we need to get this acceleration acceleration value now from our kinematic equation we have vx squared is equal to vi squared plus 2 acceleration y then the displacement y so rearranging this equation will have vf squared minus vi squared is equal to 2 acceleration y displacement y dividing this by uh, 2y also by 2y so we'll have cancel this will be cancel we'll have acceleration y be equal to vf squared minus vi squared all over 2y but remember when the elevator comes to a stop its final velocity will be zero that's why we will just be left by negative vi squared all over 2y so we will substitute this quantity to our ay in this equation press now solve for the tension so tension again is equal to mass times the quantity g plus acceleration y this is mass times g the acceleration y and solve this and g plus the quantity negative v i squared all over 2y all over 2y so this will just be equal to the mass of the cub is 1,000 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared plus the quantity we will have this negative vi vi will be according to the uh, problem will be uh, negative 12 going downwards we will have this negative 12 meters per second squared all over 2 times negative uh, 42 meters the displacement yes so so the proper um bracketing for the equation so it's quantity okay so this is now our equation if we will just be solving for this part of the equation so that it will be much more clearer to you if we will solve for first for this part of the equation it will just be um, 
negative of uh, negative 12 meters per second the velocity pointing downward squared all over 2 times negative 42 meters the displacement so this will have negative uh, 12 times 12 is 144 all over negative 84 so this will be One four four one four four over eighty four. You can just disregard the sign since it's just the same. So this is approximately one point seventy one meters per second squared. Now we can substitute this. We can uh, substitute this to our equation. This 1.71 meters per second squared to this quantity. Therefore, it will give us an equation for tension be equal to 1,600 kilogram times 9.81 meters per second squared plus 1.71 meters per second squared this will give us a result for tension equal to 1,600 times 9.81 plus 1.70 71 the answer will be 18,432 18,432 newtons so this is our answer for the tension 18,432 newtons